<laughs> Who will win the duel of the fates? The person with 11 tech or the person with 43? Steve is resting for two turns. John is just standing in place. <laughs> yeah! And who has? Oh, oh God, it does. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Time for us to one again. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Time for us to once again journey to the land of Dokapon Kingdom. But we know it's been a while, so how about we catch you up on where we've been? We last in trip, left our intrepid hero, Proton John, was sitting in a boat right next to the castle. He's on a boat. By the way, hi guys. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey. And I can tell by your tone you're so happy to see me. Yeah, exactly. There's also my controller was acting funny for a second. Sorry about that. There's also Mr. Timothy Bishop playing as Timbo. Sorry, Timbo guys. is a warrior at level six. Decent stats here. And then, of course, we have the one and only. We can find him. I, mean, I am elusive. I'm hiding from your grasp, John. I don't understand why. Uh -huh. It's our mighty warrior, Steve the Magician with Poo Hair. <laughs> at level five. Just recently brought back to life. You're fighting the Lizard Man. You're fighting Double D. You've made that joke every time we've played Dokapon. Yes. Well, it's like... Deep in the Earth's core, a mad scientist combined a terrifying monitor lizard with a sweet boy, thus creating the Lizard Man. See that hat? He keeps his skills under it. Oh, that didn't kill oh, him. Oh, and the Lizard Man's Calibrary just barely keeps him alive. <laughs> Stop! What is this? Everyone pick on Chug a Day? Meow. Three. Let's see what we can do here. Meow. Oh. Gotta hope those videos are up by now, otherwise it's gonna be super confusing. I know, because you've referenced that so much and we don't even know if that's going up before this. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> You're just doing that to make me have to post it sooner, aren't you, Niven? Meow. Yeah. If John did less than two damage, I would probably be yelling louder than you ever heard right now. <laughs> I'd be really confused. That's what would be the case. Yeah, yeah John, oh John's brain would just break. That is if it has not already. No, oh, it's been in a melted state for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that Canadian air. No, I think that's what's been keeping it preserved. Uh, so it's when you come down here to America, that's what melts it? You've just had to do it so much in our recordings? Yeah, pretty much. To co combine with my terrible puns. Yeah. Terrible puns don't help. Yeah. They do not. I'm curious, uh, I guess Tim's gas as well could contribute. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's potent enough to melt brain tissue, isn't it? Yeah, but I just took a dump, so... I, I feel like if it was at the point where he would do that, it would probably do damage to him as well. Yeah. Well, Tim's immune oh to it. God. He's immune to brain-melting gas. Because support. it came from him. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Look at all those pouches the assassin has. Yeah, okay. He's got a utility belt. What's the... Oh, he can't use give up or counter. Now, you, you are committed to this fight. Oh, well. So, if he uses Strike, it's safe. No? No, he's just dead. Yup. Good job, Steve. He's out the Can I have my name back? No. Yay. Okay, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta earn it. You know, I, I wanna know something. Yeah? What? How do you do that? How do you legally change my name? What, do you, like, knock me out? Like, use me, like, hook up strings to, like, my clothes. <laughs> Walk me around like a puppet up to the government office. My now, I, I, I bring you into the government office, I'm like, yeah, I killed this dude. Here, can I change his name? I'll put him in a coffin later. I mean, he's not rotting yet, so. 